What's going on, boys and girls? So we are here with another reaction video, and this particular one is called Why I Recently Switched from Windows 10 to Linux. I'm hoping, for the love of God, this is not bang my head against the wall. I'd rather play with a rusty razor blade dipped in cocaine um, type of video because uh, I can't take many of those anymore. I've found too many good ones recently, so I'm hoping this one is actually good. Let's find out. Let's check my channel out. And, oh no! Oh no! I've lost two subscribers! I must make a video now! Otherwise, I'm not going to be relevant anymore. Oh my. It's going to be one of those videos. Okay, first off. Can we not spend the first six of your video, essentially, uh, with the shaky cam? Like, can we at least do a screen cap or something from the computer so it's more stable? Just a recommendation. I would say it's a potato, but it's a like seizure-inducing potato. Um, yeah, can we kind of you know get into like why content of the video that you title usually helps. I guess I'll do what I normally do when I can't come up with a good video idea. I'll take someone else's idea and then change it. A lot. I've got to check this out though first. I have an idea. I'm just going to talk about why I went from Windows to Linux. Yep. I have Linux, and I'm proud to say it. Yeah. Again, seizure much. I think I would be twitching more than a guy having a seizure with the amount of shaky cam. Are you recording like an action video uh, movie? Because like that, that's the shtick with the 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 shaky cam. Whew, man. Ubuntu. Okay, so here's three re reasons why I went from Windows to Linux Ubuntu. Now these these are likely going to be the same for just about two things. Please do not spend almost two minutes of your sorry a minute and thirty six seconds of your video talking about nothing related to the topic of the video. Just saying. Number two, it's Ubuntu Linux. Just saying. That's not, that's not being particular. That's like the actual name. <laughs> About any version of Linux. But Ubuntu is the one that I just chose because I like the UI in it better. But yeah, let's get into this. So, the first reason is that Windows is just not optimized for poor hardware. Windows 10, anyway. Because I would get... Anywhere from three, or no, anywhere from two to uh, six frames per second on the home screen. Six, that six frames per second is on a lucky day, to say the least. You know, and I just really needed to upgrade from that. It's not optimized for poor hardware. It's not, it's just not that good for if you have a slower computer. And I think, um, you, but Linux, um, the way it can optimize itself for poorer hardware, because when you go and download it onto your computer, it even says um, optimizing for hardware, and that's something that Windows doesn't do. It just expects everything is high end, you know. So yeah, that's the first reason. <laughs> uh, 
optimizing hardware um no it's just lighter on resources that's really the only difference as far as you know uh one recommendation like i'm not gonna yell and scream at this video <laughs> just gonna hate to break it to people right now recommendation you might want to tell what your lower end hardware is so people have an idea of what you're trying to run windows 10 on and what you're trying to run linux on just recommendation the second reason i just don't really like the programs for windows i mean i'll say microsoft office is pretty good but i i need to, i like something better as far as the uh, like media players cuz windows media player i hate it i just hate it i'm going to say that the windows app store um 99 out of 10 of the stuff that's on there you have to pay like 30 bucks for even if it's low end which i hate but oh well you know the camera app on windows 10 is bad but the camera app on ubuntu is actually pretty nice let's see every time you try to use a different web browser microsoft uh, or windows just sh okay you're referring to the default camera app which is cheese personally i would say uh cheese is simplistic you probably could have used it as opposed to the camera phone uh, the camera on your phone because I'm about ready to have a seizure because holy crap. Um, as far as where you're going with this, I'm going to let you finish that point and then I'll ramble on afterwards. Shoves a web browser down your throat and their web browser is so laggy and unusable for poorer hardware that it just... It just seems unsensible to keep using all to keep using it. I was about to. As far as Edge being unusable, um, don't use Chrome. If uh, again, this is uh, some of the, this is you're not giving details. Poorer hardware. You're talking 32 bit with like two gigs of RAM. Chrome is not going to be the browser you want to use. It's going to eat all your RAM. <laughs> so. Uh, Edge is no different. Uh, Edge is based off Chromium now, so uh, yeah, there's that. Um, as far as the App Store and the media players, that's relative. Uh, MPV is available on Windows. Uh, VLC is available on Windows. Kodi, take your pick. There's like a dozen different things. You don't need to install everything from the App Store. Novel concept, unless you're running like a Windows S mode for some reason. To mention the other thing, by the way, but then I remembered, if there is programs like Office that you want it, that are only available for Windows that you want to use, there is a uh, a PC or there is a emulator uh, for there for uh, there's an e a program that will emulate uh, Windows uh, that you can download, which is one of the nice things if you want to run a program on Windows that only runs on Linux or Mac, as your SOL. Seriously, out of luck. Oh, um, if you want to run a program that's only available on Mac or Windows, but you have Linux, you can use the uh, emulator. If you Wine is not an emulator. Wine, first of all, is only for Windows applications. Most, not all, applications that are usually written on Mac and in some way, shape, or form, usually be have to compile onto Linux. Doesn't necessarily work. There was a version of Wine for DMGs for Linux that somebody had tried getting going, but I don't think it got very far. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, if you're talking about emulators, that would be a virtual machine. As far as your office applications, if you need one for Linux, there's a myriad of them. They're all available on Windows too. If you WPS Office is available on Windows, SoftMaker Office is available on Windows, LibreOffice is available for Windows. And guess what? <gasps> They're all available on Linux too. 
Just saying. Kind of a moot point. Like, if you want to run a program that's only available on Windows or Linux and you have a Mac, you can use an emulator. It's simple as that and it's actually pretty useful. The third reason is um, the way the Windows is just the UI display and everything. Um, I I would mention the updates, but those are only minor compared to what I'm saying. The UI is a lot better and a lot smoother. I mean, yeah, you have... It just about never lags. And everything is just put on there in such a convenient spot. And there's no scrolling through the search menu unless you have, like, a lot. And by that, I mean a lot of stuff. Just look at this. There's all my programs. Damn. Also, the time display, the activity display, and all the uh, system info and stuff is so much more easily accessible, and the settings are just, um, the settings area is a lot easier to use, so I really do like uh, Ubuntu so far. So yeah. Yeah, that's why I, uh, went from Windows to Ubuntu. Yay! So, people are probably expect me to rag on the less than technical reasons. I'll give them props for the UI. Um, I do find, even as much as I personally dislike GNOME, um, the UI in comparison to digging into some of Windows' more backhanded <laughs> settings menus, um, especially in 10, is perfectly a valid reason. Uh, for me, like example, I change my network adapter settings quite frequently. You have to dig into window. You're like six or seven clicks deep into the, the settings on that. It, like it gets dumb, and then you kind of get slapped with like this weird like mix of like arrow and modern UI kind of thing because Windows can't get rid of cruft. Um, I got nothing to yell and scream about. I think some of his reasons for jumping, not necessarily the best. Um, could have given a little more hardware information about what you consider low spec systems, etc. But overall, if you want to run Linux, run Linux. If it works for you, awesome. Like I, I, I'm, I got nothing to yell and scream about. Welcome to the club, homie. So that's my reaction to this video. There's nothing to scream about, guys. Sorry. Um, if you agree, disagree, give recommendations, what do you guys consider low spec hardware? You know what to do. All the information is down below for Patreon Indie Gala, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.